Hey guys, and welcome to Vlogmas day number 15. So it is, I've got a little like a light thing there, sorry. Um, it's in the afternoon, it's about one o'clock. Um, I came home from work early today. I wasn't really feeling great. It wasn't like a specific thing that was wrong. Like I didn't have a headache. I, I wasn't sick to my stomach. I just had like this, like I just do not feel good. And it was very hard being there, very hard keeping my head up off my desk. It was just, it was hard. So I just, you know, just came on home. It was, it was one of them days. So, um, I did eat when I got home and I am feeling a little better. I've just been sitting, you know, in the chair, um, catching up on some Vlogmas videos. And then I thought, why not just go ahead and open my day number 15 swap that I done with Melody at Melody's Cozy Crochet. And I will link her channel down below if you want to go and um, watch her videos. Um, she um, is making um, a, a blanket from the scrap balls that I'm sending her. And I've also put the friend, hashtag friendmas2021, I just can't think, um, playlist down below. So you can go and check that out as well. So I have day number 15 here. And the little tag says, the Grinch's heart grew that day. Let's see. Ooh, look at this. It is that pretty Grinch color that I liked so well at, that I got during the beginning of uh, Vlogmas. So I am super Super excited to get another scrap ball of this to put in there because I really did love this color. It is like the perfect Grinch color because um, like if Grinch, if the Grinch was like in real life, he wouldn't probably wouldn't be just one color of green. And that's what this is. It's like a tonal green and there's like some yellow in there. I just love it. Thank you, Melody. And then we always get like a little, you know, um, treat or prize. And I am super excited about this. It is some Tic Tacs, some Coca-Cola Tic Tacs. I have never had Coca-Cola Tic Tacs before. And I love little um, candies like this, like mints or, you know, like icebreakers, Tic Tac things. Um, because when you get the, like you want to sneakity snack at work, um, you can either sneakity snack or you can get you some little like hard candies and stuff and it kind of curbs that, you know, craving that you have. Okay, so I am going to hop over here. I may record a little bit of me crocheting. It's been a while since I've done that. I am working on, I'm on the brown. So I have the brown, the gold, and now the green to get into the blanket. So I'm hoping to, you know, just get as far as I can on that today. So I will see you guys a little bit later. And if I don't see you crocheting, I'll see you later this evening during the wrap up. And I will show you um, the progress that I have made because I finished the black. I put the whole red, um, that little mini craft secret skein that I had, put that whole thing in and I've got like half of the brown scrap ball in. So moving right along, moving right along. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye.
guys, it's me again. So I crocheted for a little bit and I am happy to report that I am all caught up on all of my scrap ball dies. So let me grab it here. He's pretty big, so I'm not gonna be able to hold him all up in it. But here he is. So I put in from the black all the way up to the green. So we got black, red, brown, yellow, and green. And I will put in a picture um, over here of um, it laid out on my bed so you can get a look at him all together. And while I have you guys here, I wanted to go ahead and open up my Elemis Advent. I went ahead and brought it downstairs. That way tonight, all I have to do is um, pick out um, the giveaway winner and I will have, I'm gonna go ahead and edit as much of the video as I can so that I can um, have more crochet time. Okay, so today is day number 15. We are right here. Looks like my little thing is. Ooh. Let's see what that is. This is Superfood Cleansing Butter. We'll probably give this to Mark Great because I have a um, a face wash that I like really well from Elemis, and I'm just gonna remain with that one. My um, little things have fallen apart down in there. Okay, so I will put that in with Mark Great's thing, and I'll see you guys in a little bit, and we'll pick out a winner for. Um, that poinsettia gnome bundle i'll talk to you guys in a little bit bye hey guys i have um some christmas cards that i've gotten recently that i would like to show you this first one here is from dana and it's got a cute little snowman sticker on it it says, Merry Christmas. Look at all those snowmen. That's so cute. Oh, and on the back, look, it's that little bird. It says, here's wishing you a jolly Christmas and a fabulous new year. It's from Dinah. Thank you, Dinah. I'm going to put this up on my um, card tree, which I don't like. It's not... It's not pretty at all. It looks prettier in the picture than. Okay, this next one is from Barb. And it says, Christmas wishes. It says, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a wonderful new year. Wow, Barb, you have such pretty handwriting. Oh my goodness. And look at this fabulous Christmas ornament. Thank you so much, Barb. I really love this. Oh, let's just hang it on the tree right now. Let's put it up here with Miss Bernard. Bernard and Miss Bianca. <clears throat> that one right there, Dana made for me. Okay, put that one on my card tree. This next one is from June or June. Look at that cute Christmas tree. And it says, Christmas greetings and best wishes for the new year. And it's got some cute little stickers on the inside. Thank you very much. Jenner June. This next one is from Summer. And Summer has very pretty handwriting too. And it's got like, there's some stickers on the front too. 
but it says, no wonder everything seems to shine much brighter at Christmas. It's got the nativity. That's when God gave us the light of the world. Praying your Christmas shines extra bright with God's love and peace. Very pretty. And on the inside, I had some cute little stickers. Got some Christmas sleigh and gift. And then look at all these peppers. So cute. And then this right here. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so delicate. It's a cross and it's in Christmas colors. I'm also going to put this up on my Christmas tree. Put this on my card tree. Put my stickers right back here. Not very organized. I have to put this one right down here. Oh. There we go. Can we see him? I don't think we can see him. He's right here. He's little. But I love him. I'm going to put him in my devotional book when Christmas is over. Okay, so the next one is from Rebecca, aka Crochet Me This. It says, Merry Christmas, and look at those birds. I love birds, and this looks like a watercolor um, painting of the um, cardinals, the female and the male. I really like it. It says, wishing you every happiness this holiday season and throughout the coming year. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Oh, no, I need to keep that out. The next one is from Amy, who also has very pretty handwriting. Now this uh, gave me some, um, some Hogwarts vibes here. It says, deck the halls, the towers, and the secret passageways too. Look at that. Doesn't that look like Hogwarts? I love me some Harry Potter. And on the inside, it says, Wishing you a bright and happy Christmas. Thank you, Amy. I really love that. <gasps> it is a Harry Potter. I didn't even see that on the back. Hallmark Harry Potter. What? Oh, this is awesome. Who knew Harry Potter had Christmas cards? Oh, man. That's exciting. I hadn't looked at the back of it. Thank you, Amy. I love me some Harry Potter. This next one is uh, from Cheryl. Now I want to show you guys. Let me cover up her address. But look at the front of the envelope. Look at all those little birds. And then the back of the envelope looks like this. So very decorative. So it says, joy to the world. There we go. How to get it without the shine on it. It says, may all the joy of Christmas fill your heart now and throughout the year. Thank you, Cheryl, and she wrote me a cute little note in here. I appreciate this so much. I love little birds. I love watching them. I just bought a bunch of bird food for work so that um, my bird feeders were full. Got some of the suet cakes and some, I got a new bird feeder, like one that you put um, actual like seeds in. So the squirrels haven't found it yet. But seeing them out in the tree today, yesterday evening when I was leaving work, and I was like, oh, it's just a matter of time before they make it up to the building and get in some um, food. So, yeah. 
Okay, well, that's all the Christmas cards that I have to show you. And here pretty soon, it'll be time for the wrap up. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Bye. Hey everybody and welcome to Vlogmas day number 15's wrap up. Um, it is extremely windy outside. You may hear that and you may hear my fan because it is also hot outside. Like, I don't know what it is, but I can go outside without my coat on and I'm perfectly fine. And we're in the dead of winter. Like last week I was wearing my coat all of the time. And I hear a train coming. But we are going to get down to business because we have already done everything else except for the giveaway but before we get to the giveaway i want to say marilyn gillum she was the winner from yesterday's giveaway the the tree and the walk with me jesus book so marilyn you won that giveaway so just email me um, at my email. It's down below in the description box. Just shoot me an email and give me your address and I can get that mailed out. I already have it packaged up. It's ready to go. But today for yesterday's giveaway, day number 14's giveaway, was the Poinsettia Gnome Bundle. And with that bundle, we're getting all kinds of goodies here. So, first of all, you're getting 10 bucks to spend however you want to spend. I mean, obviously. But one of the hopes is that you will buy this poinsettia known pattern because you are getting all of the yarn to make this poinsettia known. But I mean, you can also use the yarn to make something else. I mean, it's whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. So, first of all, you're getting two sets of the stitch markers that I made for Christmas. You've got this eight. There's like a ton of them. I'm, I won't go through all of them. Let's see. On this one, probably the star and the piece of candy is my favorite. And then you get this set. And on this one, my absolute favorite are the Jingle Bells. Those were a lot of fun to make. And probably this like Christmas bobble here, just because it's so shiny and cool. It is so hot. I'm gonna turn this fan to where it's blowing on me. Okay, you're gonna get two crochet hooks. You're gonna get, they're both Tulip Etimo Rose crochet hooks. You're getting a 3.5 millimeter and you're getting a three millimeter. Now normally when I make my gnomes, I use a 2.20 millimeter, um, but I have been known to use a 2.5, 2.75, and a three. Okay, so now you're gonna get the two colors. Well, it's the same color, but two yarns, two skeins of this poppy rose. And this is Katona Cotton. You're getting the two skeins of forest green. I'm sure that you guys don't want my hair there. <laughs> two of the forest green. Um, I am gonna dig out another of the black coffee. Is that what that's called? Yes, black coffee, because I don't want anybody to run out making the note, you know? So I'm gonna dig out another one of those so you'll get two skeins of those as well. And then you're gonna get this turquoise color. I think it's called Tropic. You're gonna get this white. It's called Brata White. And then you're gonna get like a flesh tone color. Now the color I have here is a uh, peach, but the winner um, may choose whatever flesh tone color that they want. Just let me know if peach is not the flesh tone that you want. And I'll show you the colors that I got for fleshy tones. And you can tell me which one that you want. Okay, so let's get all of this stuff right back down in the bag so I don't. Oh, about lost my iPad recording back there. Get all that back down in the bag. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. 
Okay. So there we go. So this, you will physically get this and then you'll get a $10 electronic money transfer for me, either by PayPal or Apple Pay. And if you don't use either one of those, we can kick it out of school. I was gonna say I'd send you a check, but I don't have any checks. I've not had any checks probably for about um, 10 years. So um, I will send you a money order. Go to the post office, I'll get you a money order way you can do it that way. Don't want anybody to miss out on getting their props. Okay, so we're going to grab the iPad here. We're going to hit comment picker. I already went and got the URL today. I was a little bit prepared today. So we're going to paste that URL. Paste. We're going to filter duplicate users. You only get one entry per day. Now, you can win as many times as this YouTube comment picker picks you out. I mean, if you won 25 days straight in a row, I think something was wrong with the comment picker, but you would win. I mean, that's just how it's going to go. I'm not excluding anybody from just because they won. It's, a, it's 25 days of giveaways. We're going to include the replies because I like to see the replies. Even if it is just a jingle or a jangle or a, a chimney or whatever you have to say, I want to say it. We're going to filter based on a specific text. And our text yesterday was jingle. So let's do a jingle. And we're going to get comments. Wowzers! We had 60 people want to win this. I'm going to say that this was my most fun giveaway for me to put together. I had a lot of fun putting it together. I was really frustrated in the beginning because I was like, how can I get this pattern? But then once it clicked, like, oh, I'll just let them buy it on their own. Then everything else just fell into place. I had so much fun. So I hope that the winner has a lot of fun with it as well. So are we ready? Let's press start. Let's see who wins. <gasps> Busy B. Busy B. Look at you. Okay, let's see what she has to say. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Oh my, there are some really talented people. Those gingerbread houses are wonderful. Mine always caved in on itself. Ha ha ha. So Busy B is talking about the Festival of Gingerbread. That was at the end of the video. I thought it was like a real festival, but it was just a bunch of people putting together um, gingerbread houses, which was pretty cool because some of them were like rocked out. Congratulations, Busy Bee. You have won. So what I need you to do is I need you to email me down below and I'm going to need your address so that I can send this out to you. And I'm also going to need to know if the flesh tone is okay or if you want a different one let me know that i need your address your physical address to mail this or like your p.o box and then i'm also going to need to know if you want to do an apple pay or what paypal or if you want a money order and if you um want to do um i feel like i'm sweating but it's just my lotion um if you want to do apple pay then I, I think I need your phone number. And if you want to do um, PayPal, I just need your um, email address that you use for PayPal and I'll transfer you over your money and I, then I can get this out in the mail for you. Okay, so that was a lot of fun, guys. So let me write down my winner. And remember, Marilyn, if you're watching, you won the, the tree wall hanging and um, the Walk With Me Jesus book. So you need to get a hold of me as well. Busy bee. Okay. So, now, today is day number 15. Guys, I'm gonna have to put my hair up because I'm burning down. Like, like I'm on the verge of starting to sweat. And one should not be sweating when they're not even doing anything. 
So for day number 15, which is today, this is what I'm going to be giving away. So we'll find out the winner tomorrow. So you have from the time this posts, and hopefully it's tonight sometime, probably about 10 or 11-ish, because that seems about when I'm hitting it, all the way up until I try to wait as late as possible. So like 8 p.m., you know, the next day is what I try to do. So you have all that time to comment. So as long as you comment the word before, you know, 8 p.m., you know, the following day or tomorrow on day number 16. Does that make sense? Because I feel like, one, I feel like I am sweating, but it feels just like lotion. So either I'm sweating lotion or something. I don't know. Okay. So, okay. Let's just get in to what today's giveaway is. For day number 15, I'm giving away a set of the Clover Amour hooks. I don't know um, if any of you guys have been around for a while, then you've heard my story. But like when I first uh, started using these, I thought it said Clover Armoire. <laughs> armoire hooks. And I'm like, who in the world makes their hooks armoire? <laughs> but it's a <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so you're getting this set. So there is one, two, three, four. Does it say on there so I don't have to count? No, don't. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get ten hooks. And I believe it starts, you get a B, a C, a D, an E, an F, G, the 4.5 millimeter, the 7, H, I, and J. So it goes all the way from 2.25 millimeter all the way up to six. I love these hooks. I use them all the time. You can see back here, this is my wall of hooks. Oh, I missed some one. Oh yeah, I'm using that one on the, the snowman that I'm working on. These are the ones that I use. And I do keep my packaging. These are not new. These have been used plenty of times. There's like some of these right here that's not been used, but some of them have. But I just keep my packaging because it just like flips up. And I stick them. It's just an easy way to, for me to keep up with them. But I also like the tulip hooks too. So, but these were my first love. And these are the ones that I'm giving away. So, to win these hooks, all you have to do is um, say the word pine cone down below. Pine cone. One word. Pine and cone together. Pine cone. See, I would be that one person that like put pine by itself and cone by itself. But I think that it'd be okay. Cause I'll just search for pine and then it'll come up. Even if like, I, th I think it is one word. Yeah, pine cone. So let's just say pine cone down below and you'll be entered in to win these hooks. I'm excited. I know you guys are gonna like those hooks. If anybody's not using them, and then the ones that have used them, you already know you're going to like them hooks. Okay. So, guys, that's it for day number 15. But I want to talk to you guys about something before I leave to see. So, I have, you know, my handy dandy list here. So, this is the list of I came up with a word. 25 words, and then I left a blank space for the prizes, left a blank space for the winner, and then, you know, I just filled it in as I win. I used pencil on the prizes so that I could rearrange them because, like, I noticed that I was giving, like, the same thing away two days in a row and all of that jazz, but I am blank on one day, so there's one day that I don't have a designated prize for that day. So, what I was thinking was to have another um, gnome bundle. What do you guys think? I have tons of Katona cotton yarn and I thought that it would be nice because you know, I love <laughs> getting on Etsy anyways. It's one of my favorite places to spend time. But I thought I could go through and find a cute pattern pull out all the yarn and 
get you know everything like another bundle and just have it so if you guys are interested in having another one of those um let me know like so yes I, I liked this giveaway I'd like another one because I am I do have a blank day that I need to fill so and it's coming up pretty soon I'll probably have to put some actually it's the 17th so I'll have to put something in its place if I don't um, if you guys don't want another one that soon just let me know because I do have a blank space and I need to fill it and if you liked this gnome bundle giveaway I would really like to do it again because like I said I had a lot of fun picking out the yarn getting everything ready and and picking out you know what gnome I wanted to give away and stuff so it's a lot of fun so just let me know what your guys thoughts are but if you want like a something new or something different you know just let me know that too okay well I'm going to head on downstairs where it's a little bit cooler it's always hotter upstairs and get this video edited and put up so that busy bee knows that she won and remind Marilyn that she won yesterday or she won on um, day number 13 the the tree in Jesus book that's what I wrote down over here but it's the tree wall hanging and the walk with me Jesus devotional book so yeah okay <laughs> clover armor <laughs> i've cracked myself up okay i'll see you guys tomorrow bye